Hello everybody! It is Carrie, the me and the beach me. And if you're just joining us for the very first time, uh, I come to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with a just really quick life lesson from uh, FHB and especially me. And uh, actually from this not so secret gardener, the, the me and I guess FHB and me. FHB is my great great grandmother who wrote The Secret Garden and Little Lord Fauntleroy and A Little Princess and a bunch of other books as well. So I am actually coming to you and pardon the squinting, the sun is right in my eyes, but I'm coming to you from uh, a rocky beach in Camden, Maine. I'm here with my best tribe of girlfriends celebrating one of their birthdays. And yesterday we got a chance to go hike around in Acadia National Park, right on the ocean and um, some of the most magnificent views I've ever seen in my entire life for this Texas girl. And at one point we got a chance to sit um, up on some cliffs and just rest while we walk. Hopefully it just came back. <laughs> we got a chance to sit up on some cliffs at Acadia National Park and watch in this place called Thunder Hole as the waves will kind of come and crash and make the big splash. Like, um, I don't know if you ever watched Grease, and in my mind that's what it reminds me of is the big splashing waves. And um, I sat and just was in awe of how powerful the water was and how, um, how much it was just slamming against um, the edges of these rocks. But then I also was in awe of the fact and the beauty of which the water had created on those rock edges and on the beach right next to us with these perfectly round stones. And even if, as I sit here at this beach, you know, the beauty in the rocks that have been here the longest and are the smoothest and um, uh, most well, I guess, well-worn. Um, and what it reminded my heart was that, A, um, all of those waves that are crashing down around us um, every single day, every month, every week, whatever, um, uh, they too are uh, honing us and they are smoothing out our rough edges and um, they too are slowly creating um, beauty um, from that pounding. waves do have purpose in my life and <clears throat> but the biggest thing that I took away from it was that it's not just the waves it's time it's it is the waves and the storms and the things and the seasons and the weather and all of those things but this takes time uh, I take time to become honed and smooth and uh, better and the best version of me I possibly can be. And sometimes when they're in the middle of those waves crashing around us, um, we don't see that it's just one more chip away. It's one more honing, it's one more smoothing, um, that over time those little things are gonna add up and we're gonna become that smooth stone and we're gonna become that beautiful rock on the beach. And um, if I can look at it that way, I encourage you to look at it that way. I encourage you to look at what are the, those, those waves that are crashing around that uh, over time those are gonna add up and uh, we're all gonna be um, you know, good, well-worn stones on the beach of life. So that is it. That is your life lesson from this not so secret gardener. Uh, give yourself time, give yourself grace um, uh, as your edges are being smoothed out as well. So uh, blessings and blooms from Maine, from uh, FHB and especially me. Bye y'all.